Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with Metal. In this overview tutorial, we're going to be looking at Mantra VR for Premiere Pro. Mantra VR is a comprehensive set of stylization effects for both traditional flat footage and 360 footage. You can see some of the amazing videos other creators have made using Mantra VR. I also want to mention before we get started that you can download a free trial of Mantra VR from Metal.com. Alright, let's go ahead and jump over to Premiere and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start out with a 360 clip here in Premiere Pro. And this is kind of a time warp clip. This is from one of my 360 short films called To the Center. It's kind of like flying through a space wormhole. And just so we can see this a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and launch the Metal Globe preview that's included with Mantra VR. So I'm going to just come up here to Window, then Extensions, and I'm going to select the Metal Globe preview. And that's going to open that up where we can dock that. So if I just select my footage here, that'll refresh and show that on this 360 sphere and you can hit the tilde key which is on the top left of your keyboard usually under the escape button and that will go ahead and make this full screen we can double click and just jump inside this and now you can kind of see what this looks like again as it's traveling really fast through this space and you hit the tilde key again to go ahead and minimize that back down now if you don't see anything on the metal globe preview you probably just need to adjust a few settings come over here to edit and then preferences and then select playback and in here, just turn on Enable Mercury Transmit and then check on the Metal Globe Preview and click OK. And that'll make sure that that updates with whatever video you're working with. All right, so let's go ahead and apply one of the Mantra effects. We're gonna start out with the Hyperbolics effect. So over in the Effects panel over here, I'm just gonna type in Mantra VR. And that'll toggle up all the Mantra VR effects. We can scroll down, we can see them all here. So I'm just gonna select the Hyperbolics effect and apply that to my 360 footage. And now we can see we get a very abstract, stylized result. And we have all of our options here under the effects controls. And the first thing we can look at is the under frame layout. So we have the option for monoscopic, stereoscopic over under, stereoscopic side by side, and then flat video. I'm gonna leave this on monoscopic since I'm working with 360 footage. And then we have these hyperbolic tiles we can select from. And so you can get a lot of cool results with these. But what's nice is just without even adjusting anything, if I just go ahead and kind of scroll over this, we're gonna see how that updates, giving us that kaleidoscope effect. So you can really create some abstract patterns uh, really with any footage because of the way it's going to kind of interpolate that. I'm going to go ahead and select the Metal Globe Preview and go ahead and hit the tilde key and we can look around inside of this. Give us kind of a full screen perspective here in 360. And of course we have all these options over here that we can keyframe. So you can go ahead and tweak each of these and get different results. What's nice about this again is it is completely seamless. You can see how we can rotate this around the point of interest. I'm going to dial this down to fourth resolution. And you have other variations and options you can adjust. And then a really cool one that I like to tweak is the interpolate right here. It's currently at 100%. You can see what's going to happen as I bring this down and drag it down so I can keyframe this. And it'll actually come back to the original footage. It's a really unique way you can kind of go in and out of the abstract views. And again, this is seamless the entire time. Let's jump over to another sequence I have with traditional flat footage. You can see I've just got this aerial drone shot of the fall leaves here. And let's go ahead and apply the hyperbolic effect to that. And now you can see we're getting some abstract results. I want to go ahead and change this though to be rectilinear flat. And then we can come through and look at the different kaleidoscope options. I'm going to go ahead and scroll over this footage and we can see kind of the movement that's creating kind of the kaleidoscope effect. All based on just the actual footage itself without us having to keyframe anything. But again, if we wanted to make any other adjustments or keyframe something, we can do that here. I really like keyframing the rotation on this type of effect again, to kind of give it a secondary movement. That's always a nice complimentary thing to do. All right, let's jump back over to the 360 timeline. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the interpolation back to 100 here on the hyperbolic tile. So we now have this pattern. And another effect that often complements this one quite well is the Mantra VR repeater effect. So I'm gonna scroll down here and find the Mantra VR repeater effect. And I'm just gonna apply that underneath the hyperbolic effect. And then we can go ahead and increase this on the X and Y axis. So I'm gonna increase this to one and one. And you can see how that's gonna mirror everything there. So if we jump over here to the Metal Globe Preview, we're actually gonna look at the outside of this one. So this can be a nice way to create seamless textures. You can see how we kind of get like that texture appearance on top of this. And then we can jump in here. If you really just wanted to, to expand upon whatever other effect you're using, again, you can repeat that pattern. It works seamlessly on 360 footage. Jump back out of this view. But I really like using the repeater effect on traditional flat footage. So let's go back over here to the normal timeline. And I'm actually gonna delete the hyperbolic effect from this footage. But you're gonna see we're gonna create a lot of the effects 
very similar to the Majesty music video. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the repeater effect to this autumn footage. And I'm gonna go ahead and again, check up here, make sure it's on rectilinear. And then we can just increase this to one and one. And you can already see we're kind of getting some of that crazy pattern movement there. Now you can see we're getting some nice symmetry on how that looks. It's just a really pleasant abstract looking movement. And I've got another clip here with some kind of solar panels flying over top of them. And I knew this would be a really nice clip to apply the repeater effect to. So I'm gonna apply that to this clip now. And on this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have it repeat from a different mode. You're gonna see on the Y axis there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one and I'll do one on this one as well. And instead of having it on both, I'm gonna set this to be top. You can see it kind of shifts everything down there and you can see I can do it on bottom as well and it kind of would shift it up. But I'm gonna do it from the top and it gives you kind of this nice infinite looking horizon right there. I'm gonna go ahead and preview that clip and you can see what you can do with that. So again, just by applying the Montreal repeater effect and tweaking a few of these options really quickly, we can create some really kind of stunning symmetrical looks on our footage. All right, let's jump back over to the 360 timeline. Now I've got this 360 clip kind of flying over these mountains here. This is all rendered in CG uh, using GeoLayers 2 and Freeform Pro. And I thought that this clip would be a nice candidate to use the Montreviar Eshar Droste effect. So let me come over here and I'm gonna locate that effect. I'm just gonna apply it to this 360 footage. And it's gonna create like this infinite looking swirl loop. And I can adjust the zoom factor here so we can kind of see that a little bit better so you can kind of see what's happening here on this footage. So we have this loop and I can also adjust the zoom cutoff there kind of how that looks. But where this is really unique, what I like about this a lot is the zoom loop that we have. So I can go ahead and adjust this. And you can see how it's gonna like, act like an infinite zoom through this footage. And we have the option of checking on or off to have the twist effect applied to it or not. And you can adjust the feathering, and quite a few other options here, like the feather mode. And of course, throughout all this, you can interpolate this back down into the original footage, as you can see there. Set this back to cross dissolve. And we'll dive inside of the Metal Globe preview here. Now we can kind of see how that swirling effect looks on everything. And we can also, of course, use this on normal footage. So let's jump back over to the normal timeline. And I've got another aerial shot. I like using the Eshi Droste effect with clouds and kind of arrow shots like that because I find it gives a nice kind of blend, almost like you're going through like a time warp or something like that. So I'm gonna apply this to my normal footage. And the first thing I need to do is make sure it's on rectilinear flat. And now you're gonna see we get this nice kind of swirl and it's kind of almost like pulling the clouds along with that. So it's a nice effect. I'm gonna adjust the zoom factor here just a little bit. So we kind of see more of that cloud. So that looks quite nice right there. And then again, we can do the zoom loop. So you can kind of create some cool looping gifts or whatever else you wanted to create with this effect. And of course, we can interpolate this back down now to the original footage. So it could be nice for transitions like that too. All right, so jumping back over to our 360 timeline, let's take a look at the Montreviar circular waves effect. I like this effect because it almost gives you kind of like an energy orb look, or it also can emulate kind of like a water type texture. So I'm gonna find Montreviar circular waves and what I'm looking at here is a clip from that to the center 360 short that I created. It's kind of going through space. But when I actually went through this, I used the circular waves effect to kind of emulate like a water type texture, like you're passing through something and keyframed that. So I'll go ahead and apply that effect to this footage. And you can see we get a nice kind of watery result. And the original background footage there was created using metal flux. But again, by having that rendered and then applying the circular waves on top, it gives it this nice kind of watery orb texture. And we can look at this in the Metal Globe preview and kind of see the result of that. What's nice about this is we can actually keyframe the phase so that'll kind of change and kind of see how it gives it an energy like appearance. And we can adjust the amplitude and then the decay if we need that to go back to the normal footage or we can increase that if we need to be more intense. So you can do some nice keyframing with this effect. Let's jump over to the normal footage timeline here. And what I've got is kind of like this fruit and water spinning. And if I needed this, kind of have more of that water look to it, this would be a nice candidate for the circular waves effect. So I'm gonna apply that to this clip. And we can see the water result we're kind of getting from that. And again, we can adjust the amplitude of this. 
this would be a nice kind of transition into this shot if you want to kind of give it that liquid feel. And we can see what this looks like in real time with the circular waves effect. All right, back over to our 360 timeline. Another popular effect from Mantra is gonna be the Mantra VR Chrome Spheres effect. I'm gonna apply this to some 360 footage I have here and you'll see we have a Chrome Sphere right in the center of our footage. I like to think of this almost as if it's another 360 video inside of our 360 video, because again, it's basically reflecting this entire environment map. If we kind of think of it like that. We can adjust the size of the sphere. What's really neat is we can come out here to the distribution controls. Go ahead and toggle that down. We can increase the number of instances we have here in the scene. So I can bump that up to something really high like 12. And you can see we have all these spheres. You'll notice they're all reflecting each other kind of in the dual reflection there. So that really creates kind of some dimension when you do that. We also have the option to check on or off to draw the background. If you want to go ahead and remove that and just kind of use the original footage as a reflection map. So I'm gonna check that back on. I'm gonna bring the scale of these down just a little bit here so we can kind of see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and let's dive into the Metal Globe preview and jump into that and kind of see, you can see all the reflections we're getting here. And you can always adjust the position of all these spheres if you want them to be rotating around your subject or around the viewer in the 360 video. So you can see how we can do that and we can keyframe all of these options as well. Let's take a look at this on some traditional footage. Let's jump back over to the normal footage timeline. I've just kind of got this abstract clip here of this kind of orb over these skyscrapers. And I figured this would be a nice candidate for the chrome spheres effect. So I'm gonna apply that to it. And once I do, again, I wanna make sure I set this to be rectilinear flat. So now we can see that sphere in the middle of our footage. Let's go ahead and increase the number of instances here. So on something like six, and I'm gonna adjust the scale the other thing we can adjust down here is gonna be the scale deviation. So kind of just adjust the size of them in comparison to each other. So I'll bring that down quite a bit. And a great use for the chrome spheres effect on traditional footage, if you don't want it to be kind of an abstract, you can almost emulate this as being water droplets on your lens because of the way it kind of reflects the original footage there in the background. And that's one of the creative options you have with the chrome spheres effect. Finally, back over in the 360 timeline, let's look at my favorite effect from Mantra VR, and that's the Mantra VR Turbulence effect. This gives your footage a very like liquid, almost like a Van Gogh-like effect on everything. Now, one thing to note is that it works best on a static image because of the way it kind of emulates the liquid, but that doesn't mean you can't use it on video footage. And the way you can do that is, you can see I've got this video clip here, kind of with this waterfall in this cave. What I recommend doing is go ahead and select your clip, and just go ahead and split it wherever you want the kind of the turbulence effect to begin. And on this second half of our video clip here, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select add a frame hold. And that'll basically just freeze that second half of the video clip there. And now we can apply the Mantra VR turbulence effect to this part of our clip. So I'm gonna scroll down here and find Mantra VR turbulence. I'll just apply that to the clip. And again, it's on monoscopic right now. And you can see as I increase the progress here, how this kind of liquefies everything in our scene and we get all these nice kind of little twists and twirls with the velocity and the turbulence. If we want to dial that back down, we can as well. You can see, let's go ahead and let's jump over to the Metal Globe preview and take a look at this. And we can jump inside, and we can see how everything's kind of melted together here in Seamless 360. So it's gonna be a really cool way to transition from one shot to the next, or if you're needing just to close out a shot for dramatic effect, you can apply the Mantra VR turbulence effect. But again, what's great is it works on normal footage as well. So let's jump over here to the normal footage. So I've got this shot here, which is from the True Detective look tutorial for Metal Freeform Pro. And let's say I wanted this kind of halfway through to turn into that liquid effect. Again, what I need to do on this video clip, because it's video, go ahead and split that clip. And then on the second half of the clip, I'm just going to right click and select add a frame hold. So that freezes that part of it. Now we can apply Mantra VR Turbulence. Then once that's applied, we wanna make sure we change the frame layout to be rectilinear. And then we can go ahead and add a keyframe for the progress. I'll just move down here in time. And we can go ahead and increase this progress. You can see how it kind of melts everything together there. And in this case, I probably turned down the turbulence so it's just kind of a little bit more smooth, like a smooth liquid like that. And we can go ahead and see the end result of how that looks on that clip. 
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this overview of some of the creative uses with Mantra VR inside of Premiere Pro. This has been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.